It is hard once summer begins for me to sit down long enough to edit a full video. This usually takes me at least eight to 10 hours, often longer. I don't wanna leave you hanging, so I'm gonna try something new here. A series of short videos showing what happened while Gary and Lee visited to help me get unbeknownst in the water for hopefully the last mechanical troubleshooting work. First, let's look at trailer modifications. Gary and I worked on getting things organized this morning. Got the Century and the Shepherd moved over here. Working on the trailer, Gary's putting the, you can see the uh, wheels are off. He's putting, getting new bearings for that. There's Gary's Lyman. Hopefully we'll launch that tomorrow. It is Thursday. So far we've moved, removed that uh, whole system right there that used to sit up here in this area and it moved the, it twisted the axle. So these bars came back here and we've modified it to attach here so the axle won't twist, as you can see. And because that's how you could adjust the height of this trailer was just by the axle pivoting, but now that's not gonna do that. So we just added these pieces here and they are going to hold uh, adjustment for the bunk there. There'll be an adjustment for the bunk there, an adjustment for the bunk back there. So now we're about to figure that out, and we'll show you that when that gets done. And I don't have the metal for it today, but next project is to build a higher winch stand here at this angle of this board, and it will also have a turnbuckle, so it moves this way so you can adjust it. All right, Gary, how many times have we moved this stupid trailer back and forth? Probably four, but that's okay. <laughs> Gotta get it right. Still haven't done that post, obviously, but unbeknownst is sitting in the water, and I just wanted to show you guys how curved these bunks are and how they conform so nicely to the bottom of the boat. Really happy with the way this turned out. Now I better paint it before it starts rusting. 